Elon just revealed on Twitter that Tesla will hold a much anticipated AI day on Thursday, August 19th. Just as Battery Day revealed some huge improvements in Tesla's battery technology, this AI event should also provide a lot of insight into Tesla's progress towards developing full self-driving technology. So coming up in this video, we're going to dive into the purpose of Tesla's AI Day. We're also going to talk a little bit about Tesla's Dojo supercomputer and what that means and what we know about it so far. We're also going to discuss Tesla's next generation of full self-driving computer hardware 4.0. And then I also want to talk about Tesla Vision. These are all topics that I think will be brought up at Tesla's AI Day. And these are the topics that I'd like to discuss. So without further ado, let's dive in. Before I dive into Tesla's Dojo supercomputer, also the next generation of full self-driving computer hardware 4, and also Tesla Vision, I think it's important that we step back and talk about the purpose of Tesla holding this AI event. If you watched Tesla's Autonomy Day that happened in April of 2019, then you know there was a lot of detail and a lot of technical aspects that Tesla talked about at this event. I'm pretty certain that this year's AI event will also be long and detailed and will share a lot of technical aspects. But the question is, why would Tesla dive into such detail and all the technical aspects of their full self-driving efforts when just a basic shorter presentation would suffice for the general public? Does Tesla do it for the benefit of Tesla YouTube channels like the one I run? As much as I would like that to be the case, that's not the reason why Tesla does it. Is it for the sake of Tesla's shareholders? That may be part of the reason, but I don't believe that's the main core reason because Elon Musk has made it very clear that the purpose of this event is for recruiting purposes. Notice that Elon Musk made it very clear in this June 21st tweet when he said, looking at holding Tesla AI day in about a month or so, we'll go over progress with Tesla AI software and hardware, both training and inference. Purpose is recruiting. So once you realize that the main purpose of this event is for recruiting purposes, it makes a lot of sense that Tesla would go into such great detail and talk about all the technical aspects of them developing full self-driving software because this is the kind of information that would attract very talented engineers. As I have said in the past, and as Elon has mentioned multiple times, Tesla already has some of the best and brightest engineers in the world on their team but there's always room for more talent. On top of that, there's actually somewhat of a shortage of really talented AI engineers. And so in order for Tesla to get the very top talent, they need to make sure they hold events like Tesla's AI day to attract these top engineers. After all, the engineering team at Tesla is very crucial for Tesla's continued success and for them to stay above the competition because a product is really only as good as the engineers who design it. Now moving into Tesla's Dojo supercomputer project, let's talk about what we know so far about it, what I expect to learn, and why it's so important. Tesla will almost certainly devote a good portion of time during this AI event to discuss Project Dojo. One of the big reasons why I expect Project Dojo to be talked about at length at this AI day is because of the development timing that has been laid out previously. In an August 19th, 2020 tweet, Elon Musk said the following, Dojo version 1.0 isn't done yet, about a year away. Not just about the chips, power and cooling problem is hard. Notice that August 19th, 2021 would mark exactly one year since Elon's tweet about Dojo version 1.0 timing. I don't believe this is a coincidence. I believe this could be an Easter egg from Elon. The reason he chose August 19th for Tesla's AI day this year is because Project Dojo is going to be a big part of the conversation and it's his way of saying my timing was very accurate. The second reason I believe Dojo will be a big part of the conversation is based on previous comments from Elon and the Tesla team. Uh, we do have a major program at Tesla, which we don't have enough time to talk about today, called Dojo. That's uh, a super powerful training computer. Uh, the goal of Dojo will be to be able to take in vast amounts of data 
and train at a video level um, and do unsupervised massive training of vast amounts of video with the, the Dojo program, Dojo computer. But that's for another day. This Dojo supercomputer seems to be a crucial aspect at improving the efficiency and also likely the speed at which Tesla can train and improve their neural network. Now Tesla could go and purchase an off the shelf supercomputer if that even exists. However, I believe there's a huge benefit in designing your own system as Tesla, one that is optimized for their very specific purposes. On the Q1, 2021 investors conference call, Elon said the following when it comes to the Dojo supercomputer they are developing. Dojo is really a supercomputer optimized for neural net training. He also said, we think Dojo will be probably an order of magnitude more efficient per frame of video in hardware and in energy usage compared to the next best solution we are aware of. So Tesla's new Dojo supercomputer will be at least 10 times more efficient than the best solution that Tesla knows about right now. This is quite an amazing improvement. Here's what Elon Musk had to say about this in a September 2020 tweet. Dojo uses our own chips and a computer architecture optimized for neural net training, not a GPU cluster. Could be wrong, but I think it will be best in world. We'll have to wait until Tesla's AI event to learn more about the specific specifications and the specific performance of Tesla's Dojo supercomputer. However, it seems obvious that this supercomputer will be a level above what they're currently using to train their neural net. At a recent AI conference, CVPR 2021, Andre Karpathy unveiled some details about the training supercomputer that Tesla currently uses. In his slide presentation, Andre revealed the following specifications of the current supercomputer that Tesla uses. Notice that Tesla's current system is already an exaflop level system, which refers to a system that is able to perform a quintillion calculations or floating point operations per second. So Tesla's Dojo supercomputer should be a level above even this very impressive system that they're using now. And this should help increase not only the efficiency, but I believe also speed up the rate at which Tesla can improve their neural net training, which of course ultimately should allow Tesla to reach true level four or level five autonomy. Now, besides Project Dojo, I also believe Tesla will spend quite a bit of time discussing their move away from radar towards Tesla's camera-based vision system or Tesla vision. In a previous video, I covered this in quite a bit of depth about why Tesla ditched radar. However, I would like to provide a quick summary of what I talked about in that video. During Andre Karpathy's CVPR 2021 presentation that we referenced earlier, he gave the following reasons for Tesla ditching radar. First of all, he mentioned that Tesla Vision or Tesla's camera only based vision system provides better data than radar. He also mentioned the issue of sensor fusion, which Elon summarized nicely in the following tweet. When radar and vision disagree, which one do you believe? Vision has more precision, so better to double down on vision than to do sensor fusion. Another reason he gave came down to the power of focus. Why waste an engineer's time processing data from an inferior sensor? It's better to focus on the sensor providing the best data and double down on that. Andre also talked about the importance of affordability and scalability. He also pointed out once again that if humans can drive with vision alone, then cars should be able to drive with a camera-based vision system only and that cars have the advantage of having 360 degree view around them because of the cameras located around the Tesla vehicle and the fact that humans are easily distracted, but computers are not distracted. They're always paying attention. So I expect Andre and Elon to talk quite a bit about this particular topic, but I believe they'll provide a lot more detail and also show a lot of examples to show what they're talking about. One of the other big topics that I expect Tesla to discuss will be their next gen full self-driving computer or hardware 4.0. As you can see on this chart, Tesla's current version 3.0 of the full self-driving computer is already a huge improvement over the previous version in many ways. 
while version 3.0 appears to be sufficient and powerful enough to run a full self-driving vehicle, version 4.0 should improve upon this already impressive full self-driving computer. Tesla's next-gen computer was first mentioned in passing at Tesla's Autonomy Day in April of 2019, and when Elon Musk was asked about how much better it would be over the current version, he mentioned, it will be at least three times better than the current system. It's about two years away. So if the next-gen full self-driving computer was about two years away in April of 2019, even with our current chip shortage, I believe this next generation full self-driving computer should be about ready. One of the main improvements that I expect from the new full self-driving computer would be to further increase the already impressive power efficiency of the Tesla full self-driving computer. As you can see in this chart, from version 2.0 to 3.0, Tesla was able to drastically improve the processing power whilst at the same time reducing power consumption. Once again, I expect a power efficiency improvement in the new full self-driving computer version 4.0. As a reminder, it's really important that Tesla's full self-driving computer be very efficient because a system that draws too much power could actually decrease the range of Tesla's vehicles. So to wrap all this up, Tesla's AI day is going to be a very important day for Tesla, and I'm excited to learn more about Tesla's progress towards developing a level five self-driving car and the important systems that make this possible like Project Dojo, Tesla Vision, and also their next gen full self-driving computer. So those are the big topics that I expect Tesla to talk about at their AI day. But what are some of the topics that you expect Tesla to talk about? And are you excited about Tesla's upcoming AI day? Please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Now, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters, those who support my work and help make these videos possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.